Welcome to Marcus Hedblad Golf. When you hit your driver and hit that big slice, many people think that it's the lack of hip rotation that's giving you the slice. You need to wake up. The rotation of the hips, the aggressive rotation is actually what's causing your slice. And today I will show you how it works. I think that aggressive hip rotation is the number one killer of all drives. How can I even say that? The problem is we're trying to copy someone who's about 20 to 30 years old, extremely fit, extremely fast in the upper body. They fast arms, fast release, and then they can use a fast hip. But if you're not perfectly trained, if you're not perfectly in your golf swing, you need to understand that if you add more rotation, you will slice more. Slice is almost, for everyone I meet, is almost the only problem is that we are just leaving the club open at impact. We are not using enough upper body. We're not using the trail arm to actually extend to get the club in a square position. The only thing we're using is going up in the backswing and then turning. That will cause a huge slice. That's not nice. It's not even long. The opposite is much better. If you stand still and try not to rotate too much and you try to extend that arm, sit down, extend that arm and you will hit it longer and probably with a small draw. You need to know that it's an unbalanced golf swing. Your lower body is too fast you're not hitting the shot at the ball. You're probably extending the arm. You're hitting a perfect shot, maybe three, four feet after the ball. More hips, faster hips will give you more slice. If you're a hooker of the golf ball, that's fine. Then more hips could help you. But if you slice the golf ball, please understand that when you're Starting your golf swing with just hip rotation, you have no chance of getting the club square at impact. Try to slower your hip rotation, slower your total rotation, so you can actually get a square club face at impact. If you understand this and actually believe me, just try it and then you will believe me. You cannot probably copy what some of the tour pros do. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video. So try to slow down your hips, make the club squared impact, and then start from there. That's all you need. Understand that maybe you need to think about what your body can do instead of what someone else is doing. All we need is this to get time enough to be squared impact. Don't let your hips destroy your game. Good luck.